Hello, everybody. My name is Brian Fleischman. I'm with Ward Burton Enterprises. We're real excited to have uh, everybody here. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Just wanted to introduce uh, some of the folks uh, up on the panel here. You may already know them, but uh, just for the sake. We have Pat Martin uh, with Estes Express Lines, Jeb Burton, uh, the driver of the number 13 Estes truck, and David Pepper, who is a general manager of Thor Sport Racing. We had a, a really exciting event uh, this Tuesday in Richmond, Virginia, and I, I want to turn the, uh, the the table over to Pat, who will explain, you know, part of the part of the event, uh, why we're here today, and, and what uh, what Estes plans to do do in the sport. So, Pat, sure. um, without any further ado, if you want to share Tuesday. Yeah, thank you, Brian. <clears throat> On. Uh... On uh, Tuesday uh, morning, uh, our president, Rob Estes, announced to the, the folks at the home office, as well as some media and some family friends, that uh, we would be the primary sponsor of the uh, Estes 13 truck. Um, so we're excited to be a part of uh, NASCAR, and uh, we had a really good day. That's great. And, and Jeb, uh, with the partnership, it's a real big deal for you with Estes coming into the sport. And, and tell, tell the media, uh, the folks that are here, uh, you know, what it means to yourself, your family, and, and plans, big picture. Um, is it Michael? Yeah, yeah. All right, um, it's a really big deal for, for me and my family to, to be with Estes Express Lines. Um, it means a lot to me and, and look forward to the future with them and really appreciate everything y'all doing for me. and. Um, to be with a company out of Virginia and be a Virginian myself, I look forward to the future of y'all. David Pepper with Thor Sport. Thor Sport is the, the longest tenured team in the truck series and has a great deal of success uh, coming off of a championship last year, both in the trucks and in the Arca series. Share some of your thoughts in terms of the relationship and, and, and what this means to your organization. Well, the last, uh you know, four or five months have been an absolute whirlwind for uh, Thor Sport Racing. We uh, started 2014 planning on running two full-time trucks, and then Jeb Burton became available in January, and it just became a natural fit to uh, place him in one of our trucks. And then the talk started with uh, the Estes folks probably about two months ago, and their core values as a company fit perfectly with what ThorWorks Industries and Thor Sport Racing we're all about and the two parties were able to, to uh, come to an agreement and the deal culminated a couple weeks ago and uh, we're really excited to have Estes on board on on the 13 truck and Jeb driving for us and have three legitimate shots to uh, win this championship. That's great. And, and Pat, being new to the sport, NASCAR, uh, we, we talk about the business development opportunities and the exposure. Share a little thoughts. Why, why NASCAR? Why now? Why the Burtons? Sure. Um, I guess the uh, most exciting thing for us is uh, getting into uh, a sport that has worldwide exposure. Um, it's a sport that so many people love, and, and there's so many dedicated fans, and they're, they're very loyal to the brands. Uh, and as Estes has grown over the years, uh, we're now an international company, so it's time for us to really take it to the next level uh, and get our brand out there. Um, We've been kind of a pretty well-kept secret in the Richmond area for a long time, so it's uh, exciting to take the next step. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, doing it with uh, Jeb and Ward and, and Thor Sports because, uh, like Jeb had mentioned, you know, two Virginia companies getting together. When we first sat down and, and met with Ward and, and his team, uh, it, it felt like family right away. It felt like we were friends right away, and so... Uh, if we can support each other and uh, and help Jeb get to where he wants to go, uh, we're we're really excited about that. And Thor Sports, uh, like you had mentioned, one of the most successful and longest tenured uh, truck series. Uh, I don't think we could have partnered with a better team, and, and we're probably just lucky. So uh, we're proud to be with them, looking forward to it, and uh, couldn't be more excited about, about getting our brand out there. That's great. And and David, uh, you know your thoughts in terms of. How to make the relationship successful? The key with with sponsorships and NASCAR is is to develop programs that are sustainable and, and that can grow 
over time. Your organization has done a fantastic job with partners like Menards and Nextint. How do you how do you plan on on growing the the relationship with Estes and, and bringing it forward? Well, I think uh, we've been looking for a long time for a transportation company that fit with the ThorWorks industry model. That's our parent company at, at ThorSport Racing. And the, the two companies, when we sat down with, with Pat and Lewis and, and everybody involved, our core values were very much the same, privately held companies. Uh, we were not, either one of us, very flashy companies. We kind of, we consider ourselves, as Pat said, the best kept secret in our industry. And it just, the two, the two groups just felt it was a natural fit. I mean, it just, uh, <clears throat> it, it'll allow us to be together for a number of years. Um, the, they're growing, we're growing. Each one of the companies uh, just kind of sees each other as a, as a natural partner. Um, it's kind of, they pride themselves on fast, timely deliveries, and we, t we pride ourselves on the going pretty fast ourselves. So the two things just really mesh well together. And Jeb's going to do us a great job. He's a great spokesman for not only the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, but Thor Sport and Estes. So it, it just was a natural fit for all the planets to line up. And like I said, the last four months, putting this deal together with everybody involved has just been uh, the perfect scenario. Uh, the best way to top it off would be uh, win this race today. No Fantastic. Uh, Jeb, you know, the, the new sponsorship comes together, uh, Estes being based in Richmond, 14,000 plus employees, uh, locations across the country. Talk about how you plan to interact with, with the associates and the customers, some of the things that, uh, that you're really excited to look forward to. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to um, meet all your workers and drivers and bring them to the racetrack and go into your terminals and and just meeting all all your all your employees um hopefully we can entertain them every week and have a good time with them and and make them nascar fans yeah. that's great and and pat from a company perspective uh, talk about some of the interest already from announcing uh the partnership formally on tuesday you know what type of feedback have you received uh, across the board <clears throat> it's been Really positive, Brian. I think the exciting thing for us is seeing some of the emails that have come in and some of the letters that have been written. I guess you want me to hold this? <laughs> Cut and we'll start over. Um, yeah, one of the really exciting things for all of us has been um, all of the letters and emails and different things coming in from the employees, the team members at Estes. It's, it's super exciting to see those guys. There's a, a ton of NASCAR fans in our business. We're a we're a LTL trucking company, but we do a lot of things. So, whether it's uh, offshore, international volume truckloads, expedited time critical supply chain, we've got people everywhere that are NASCAR fans, and uh, we pride ourselves on on servicing it fast. So it's fun to be in a fast sport now. So well, that's great, and and. Companies are healthy, and the sport is is very healthy. Uh, Chad Little's here with us, and, and wanted to thank thank you, Chad, for your support across the board with the partnership. You know, the Truck Series is is real exciting with that sponsorship renewal long into the future. The foundation is there for drivers like Jeb, you know, who's getting his career started with a company that's that's built their foundation on on long lasting careers and treating people right. You know, Jeb, in, in, in closing here and in, in wrapping it up, talk about thoughts this weekend and, and what you're looking forward to on track uh, the rest of the season. Well, um, like Pepper said, we, we kind of threw this deal together um, right before Daytona. And a week out. Yeah, about a week out. And we've done a pretty good job. We're still working on getting our trucks a little bit better and the communication with me and the crew chief. So it's a building process, and, you know, hopefully we can keep on – getting single digit finishes and um, top tens and hopefully we can get a win and, and get some more points and try to be there at the end of the year for a championship. Great, great. So that concludes our, our comment period. We wanted to open the floor up for any questions that the, the media may have directly, uh, either to Pat, uh, Jeb, or David. Uh, Ward Burton is also uh, here in the room. If you have questions, we can include him quick in that. And then we'll make the group available for photographs if there are any requests, uh, either here if time allows or just outside. Chris Nightcatchfence.com. Uh, Jeb, just wondering who initiated the actual conversation with Estes. And you guys, from the talk of the conversation up there, it seemed like this was a multi-year contract. Just wondering if you can give the, the 
rundown of the contract terms. I couldn't really hear you. We had a hard time hearing you. Um, we we approach Estes, um, and and like Pat said, we when we first met, it was like family, um, two Virginians getting together, and we're building a really good relationship already, and we hadn't even had a race together yet. So, I'm looking really forward to the future. And does this contract just extend through the end of 2014, or does is this have an option for a multi-year contract? It's just it's just for this year right now. It does have an option. It does have an option. The I'll speak to that. We actually have a multi-year contract with both the folks sitting here with us. Um, the plan is to be together for a long, long time. Um, the way this is built is obviously our parent company, many of you may not know, is Thor, Thorworks Industries. Uh, we have several companies and we move a tremendous amount of freight. Um, one of the reasons that we got together is we've been looking for a, a freight company partner to, to move a lot of our, our our freight uh, logistically uh, around the country and uh, overseas and the the perfect scenario was when we got together obviously we've been racing week to week with Jeb looking for a, a sponsor partner and one of the things that we spoke with with Ward and Brian and, and their group is you know we're trying to find a logistics partner that would make sense with our company and they had contacts within Estes, and really the conversations moved really, really quick after that. I, I think we met uh, 26 days ago, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, culminated the deal uh, a week and a half ago. So I mean, it just it was one of those situations where we were exactly what they were looking for. They were exactly what we were looking for, and it made answering a lot of the questions when, when Lewis and his group came to the race shop. Uh, there were a whole lot of yeses and not a lot of maybes and things we'll have to work on. It was it, it came together really easy. Hi, Mary Jo Buchanan, Speedway Media. Jeb, can you talk a little bit about the team that you're putting together and how you're going to approach this race today? Well, um, like I said, we're getting better every week um, today. Hopefully we can get our truck pretty good in practice. Um, we really don't know what we have right now. We only got two or three laps yesterday. so. Hopefully we get our truck dialed in for today's race and you know we can be right there for the for try to get a win tomorrow or today actually. Gentleman in the back. Mike Henry from USA Today. Jeb, you haven't been in the sport that long, but you already know how hard it is to get a good ride, make a sponsor thing work. Has it been hard for you to be patient through all this? Um, yes and no. You know, last year I had a really good year, had a had a pretty good sponsor and a good team, and we had some good results. Um, and kind of had the carpet ripped out from under me, and 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 everything happens for a reason. If that wouldn't happen, I wouldn't be with um, these good people I'm with now. Um, so it just trying to be patient and and keep building and getting better every week, and and hopefully our results will start picking up and we can get a win, and and things will move a little bit faster now.